Hey, good evening again, guys. Dirk Delirium here. Um, I was just answering this guy's, uh, excuse me, this um, Risk, I think is your name, uh, was talking about uh, getting, being all fucked up on mushrooms and uh, doing crazy shit. Anyway, <clears throat> you can read the comments, they're out there. But uh, anyway, he just reminded me of something funny and, uh, you know, I got a company, so... She wants to hear a story. Very enthusiastic. She's heard them all before. Um, okay, but check this one out. This this is a little off subject, but I'm going to keep it kind of quick. This one involves alcohol and mushrooms for me and Jamaica. So uh, I'm in Jamaica, and um, I had bought some mushrooms from one cat. They were dry and whatever. And then uh, anyway, I... Um, I ate those and then I took this catamaran uh, ride, like, you know, over this, uh, this, if you've been Ocho, were we in Ocho Rios or were we in Negril? Negril. We went to Rick's Cafe. Big fucking deal. Big tourist spot. I hate that shit. Um, but anyway, I'd eaten about three grams of dried mushrooms and drank a whole bunch because, you know, it was free. Well, it's not free, but it was all you can. So, uh, all of a sudden, the alcohol kicked in, or the uh, mushrooms kicked in and kind of put the alcohol on standby. And we got to Rick's Cafe, and I was like, this is boring as I thought it'd be. Fuck this shit. Oh, and we had to swim from the catamaran and then climb up a cliff to get there, which was fine. Um, and I had a little bit of cash. I mean, we knew we had, were going to have to do this, so, you know, it was all cool. And the beers at Rick's Cafe were like 12 bucks, and I was like, fuck this shit. Um, so we went outside of the resort area or in that case, Rick's cafe. And you know, you're not supposed to do that as tourists. I did it all the fucking time, all the time. And, uh, didn't, I, well, actually I almost ran into some bad trouble, but that's another story. Um, but anyway, not this time. I, uh, went down the street a, a little ways, uh, my ex-wife and I, it was uh, many years ago. And, um, I went into this little bar and there was this, uh, Jamaican cat and he was like, you know, Hey, what you want, man? Um, you want some, you want some, uh, you know, you want some weed? I'm like, no, man, I got plenty of weed. And he's like, you know, you want some hash oil? And I'm like, what? Oh, hash oil? Yes, I do. So I bought, um, some hash oil from him actually quite a bit. And then, uh, <clears throat> and then he goes, oh, how about this? And he pulls a big napkin out and he's like, Wah. and it's just this big fucking pile of fresh mushrooms. I mean, yeah, I, I at the time had no idea. I mean, I know how to do the equations now, et cetera, et cetera. But I had no idea at the time, so I have no idea how many. But I, anyway, I took them, bought them, and, uh, and bought, bought a bunch of hash oil, too. Oh, I brought that back with me. Um, and uh, anyway, so we go back, and, and I'm not going back into this Rick's Cafe place, so I'm sitting on this cliff. And, uh, and I'm eating these mushrooms, and I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm you know. I, three of them, I'll save two of them for later. About, um, nah, maybe one and a half later. Mmm, uh, and now nah, I'll eat a little more. Finally, I got like two of these big monster fuckers left, and I eat a half one of those, and I'm sitting on them. And this is like 15 minutes have gone by, and I'm like, fuck it. And I just went, and I gobbled the other two, you know, gram or ounce and a half, whatever it was. Now, remember, I'd also had three <clears throat> grams of the dried, and I was drinking a shitload. Wow, these little eyeballs make it look like I have eyeball boobies. Um, but anyway, so I'm sitting there on the cliff, and all of a sudden, these fucking things kick in, man. They kick in hard and instantly. They didn't creep up because I ate them so quick. It was just like, whoa. All of a sudden, I was fucked tripping. You know, I mean, whoa, tripping hard in a cool way, though. And all of a sudden, I'm sitting there, you know, I'm like enjoying the, 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 the ocean and the breeze, and I'm enjoying everything I can see that's so cool, and all of a sudden here, and I'm like, what in the fuck is that? And I'm thinking to myself, my God, man, that sounds like fucking Corey Feldman. And I've never met the guy, but I just fucking hate him. Um, every movie I've ever seen him in, I just fucking hate him. And everything about him, I just fucking hate. I, isn't that terrible? Corey Feldman, if you're watching this, man, I have no reason to hate you, but I do. I just do. So, because you just seem like a dick, okay? And you're an arrogant fuck, too, every time I've seen anything I knew on TV. Ah. Anyway, I hate Corey Feldman. So I'm sitting there on this cliff, and I'm like, sitting there fucked up on mushrooms. 
fucked up. And I'm like, what in the shit? Man, it sounds like Corey Feldman. Oh my God, I swear to God, a small, like a dinghy boat with a little motor prop comes cruising around the corner and there's like 10 chicks in this boat that on like a scale of one to 10 are like fucking 12s and 13s. And, and, and there's Corey Feldman and he's being every bit as much of a little fucking asshole in person as I thought he would be, that I always thought he would be. He was like exactly what I expected. He was a cock. Ah, and I'm tripping balls, man. And this little fuck gets out of his boat and he's bitching at these beautiful girls. You're like, nah, 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 nah. I'm like, oh, you dumb son of a bitch. And then he's walking up, man. He's walking right by me. And that fucker walks like, like within seven feet of me. And I'm thinking to myself the whole time, man, I could just grab Corey Feldman and throw him off this fucking cliff and he'll die. I could end Corey Feldman's life. I would never have to hear him again in any movie or anything. I could kill him. But I didn't. But I thought about it, man. And, uh, you know, that's the good thing about mushrooms. They don't make you insane. But they sure do make you think sane thoughts like end Corey Feldman. But anyway, I didn't. Corey Feldman lived. I went on to have one hell of an afternoon. That's a, just, I'm not going to go on about that one because... That was a whole fucking fucked up, really cool mushroom trip. Um, but I want to talk about Corey Feldman since I was just typing it. Now you know. Okay, there's the last one for the day. Check. I'm out. Dirk Delirium. Going to sleep. Taking a cue from my favorite girl. All right, guys. Good night. And I'm sure to have more for you tomorrow. Ciao.